Kicking off the show, Nick Kelly has become an essential part of ASU's offensive line, but just a few years ago, he didn't even have one Division I offer. I caught up with him and others who know him about his journey to success at ASU. He just doesn't let what's bothering him like affect how he plays. He just pushes through it and just, uh, I would say perseverance really sums him up. Arizona State starting center Nick Kelly entered this season on the Remington Award watch list for the best center in the nation. He's named a Sun Devils co-captain and has received high praise from his teammates. But just five years ago, Kelly never imagined any of this would be possible. Coming out of high school, I thought I was never going to play college football. I thought I was never going to go past high school football. You know, in, in, our, in our recruiting culture now, a lot is placed on how many stars you have, you know, and then here's a guy who had no stars. I mean, he basically literally was not recruited, had one Division II offer. Kelly was recruited by Humboldt State, a small Division II college in Northern California. And while it was his only offer out of high school, he decided to turn it down. I was training uh, at American River College with the O-line coach there, and he had this program called La Moon Games, and he said I was really good. He's like, I could go better than, than Humboldt and all this. I was like, and I started believing that myself, started like slowly like, yeah, I, I can, I can do this. So I called up Humboldt, I decommitted, it was a hard phone call, but it was, it was worth it, and people thought I was stupid for giving up free money, free education at the time, and they thought, oh man, he's making the wrong decision. He needs to stay with the scholarship, but I knew in my gut that I was making the right decision. Kelly believed that he could do bigger and better things, but that doesn't mean the decision to turn down a full scholarship was easy on him or on his mom, who he lived with in Sacramento. It, it was hard at the time because I was living downtown with my mom in a one-bedroom house, but it was good times, good, good memories and stuff. and. Uh, I, I, I loved living with my mom. I loved just having the camaraderie there. She really helped me through a lot. After just a few games at American River College, Kelly caught the eye of a few D1 schools, including ASU, who flew him out for a visit and offered him that very day. Because they offered me and I said, let me fly back and tell my parents and talk with them. He's like, all right. So I flew back to Sacramento, talk, told my mom I got offered by Arizona State. I was like, I really like it. My only family commit. And she just starts bawling and starts crying. I was so happy. I was, it was just such a relief just knowing that she's not going to have to pay for any of my schooling. After officially signing with ASU, his worries about the financial aspects of college were behind him and allowed Kelly to continue to believe in himself and set his focus on improving with the help of the Sun Devils coaching staff. Gave it my all every, every game. I knew I had the talent. I knew that I understood the offense. I understood what I needed to do fundamentally and just got it done. And I feel like over the, the progress of these last three years, I've improved tremendously with the help of Coach Thompson. He's done, a, he's done a real good job with that. He plays whether he's hurt, whether he's healthy, it doesn't matter, he plays hard. Uh, guys see that and they rally around that. Kelly has now started in 17 consecutive games for Arizona State, going from doubting himself at the high school level to preparing for a successful season with ASU that could potentially land him in the NFL, a transformation that surprises even him when he looks back on it. High school, yeah, I didn't, like I said, had no didn't think I was gonna play at all, let alone the NFL. I, like, I was like, man, I'm six. Like, these guys are monsters. These guys are huge, and everybody kept telling me I could, I could do it if I really wanted. I could do it. You have the talent. I'm like, I didn't believe them until, until I started getting offers. Until I decided to believe them, and they were right, and <laughs> they proved me wrong. But I'm happy. I'm happy they proved me wrong. Uh, but I just think that. Um, that without my friends and family there, I wouldn't be where I am today. Nick Kelly said he also has aspirations of becoming a coach after he's done playing football. He hopes he can have a positive effect on other players' lives the same way ASU's coach Thompson did for him. Coming up after the break,